Discovery. And a special good morning to Nicole. Nicole, that song was for you. And a special thanks to our friend Davey Knowles for his rendition of that song. It's one of my favorites. And we are looking forward to EDA 1. We're taking a live look inside the Quest airlock as Steve Bowen and Al Drew get ready to do this first spacewalk of the STS-133 mission. Okay, hatch is open and stowed. Hey, copy, the hatch is open and stowed. The two spacewalkers moved right into their task of installing an extension cable that runs from the Unity module to the Tranquility module of the International Space Station. That extension cable is required to be able to continue to provide emergency power to the Tranquility module in case of a contingency. The extension cable was required because the uh, plug will become inaccessible after the permanent multipurpose module is installed on the underside of Unity on the coming day. The next task for the crew members was to set up a foot restraint on the robotic arm for Steve Bowen to get into and go to retrieve a failed pump module. This uh, module, which is part of the station's cooling system, failed last summer and had to be replaced in a spacewalk by station crew members Doug Wheelock and Tracy Caldwell Dyson. Today, with the help of the robotic arm, Steve Bowen retrieved that failed pump module from a uh, holding place out on the truss and moved it to the stowage platform that's attached to the station's Quest airlock. There it will uh, stay until it is retrieved by spacewalking crew members on shuttle mission STS-134 for return to Earth. The next big task for Bowen and Drew was to translate out onto the S-1 section of the space station's truss structure, very near the uh, new spare parts platform that was installed on docking day of this mission. There they removed a camera stanchion and reinstalled it with a wedge underneath that cants that camera platform out, providing enough space between it and the new express logistics carrier so that the robotic arm can maneuver spare parts in and out of that platform. At that point, the crew members moved on to a get-ahead task. They installed some extensions on the station's truss rail system. They moved out further on the starboard side, uh, just to the intersection where the solar alpha rotary joint is, and installed some extensions there that will allow these CETA carts to move to the end of their necessary work site without their wheels actually coming off of the tracks. Uh, Houston, if you agree, we're going to um, let uh, Steve finish up the whip extender task and then head back to the airlock, and then we'll be ready for... We'll be working message in a bottle next. Al Drew got a bottle provided by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and opened that bottle to capture some of the vacuum of space. That bottle was closed and will be returned to Earth and be put on public display in Japan.